back to my channel here. We're going to make some, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I make cheap, easy vegan recipes and help you with a transition into a plant-based lifestyle or just fun plant-based videos. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm probably going to spray the pan because we're going to be cutting a bunch of stuff and then it's just easier to do beforehand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start cutting the veggies. I'm not going to do the onion because... My allergies are already bad. I was gonna, I knew I was gonna be cutting the onion. Maybe I should put the glasses back What's the this. trick to cutting the pepper? I know there's a trick. You're supposed to roll it or something. Um, I don't actually know. I usually just cut it and then try to get rid of the seeds after the fact. The easiest way to cut an onion, you cut it down the middle. <laughs> don't cut your fingers. And get rid of the outer layer. Hi, Romy. You're not gonna like this onion. Onions are like men, they have so many layers. <laughs> Never mind. Men do not have many layers. <laughs> but they make you cry. <laughs> yeah, they make you cry. Uh, one of my teachers actually equated guys and their friend groups to avocados. You have your core group of friends, and then there's everybody else. That's how guys are. But yeah. then girls make friends like onions. Yeah. We have so many different layers. layers and yeah. lots should of you different want to friends. do strips or should I cut this? I'm okay either way. Because I feel like for tacos, it's better in strips. When I was dating my ex, he used to get so annoyed with how I'd cut onions, so he would just always do it. <laughs> I would now, get annoyed with how Hyani would cut vegetables, but then I realized I like the way she cuts them. <laughs> she cuts them into really small pieces, mm. and it's easier to get a lot of veggies on one bite. Right. But I was more of a strip kind of person. So once you have your onion cut into halves, then you basically cut it in one direction, and the part that makes your eyes water is pushed onto the table, so then your eyes don't actually water and then you turn it the other way and then you cut it the same way no one come at me for my cutting skills i <laughs> obviously don't really know what i'm doing i'm gonna put this in the pan we probably have to cook these guys first for a little bit and then add the peppers because onions have to cook longer yep and then i'll just do the same thing with the other side i love veggies i love veggies too when i was in university i was i was living in a house with five different guys which was a ton of fun, but they never ate vegetables. They ordered pizza like three times a week. And three uh, times a week isn't that much. Well, there were five guys. So each of them ordering three times a week oh, yeah, was like funny. tons of pizza boxes. The pizza guy knew us. Anytime I was cooking something with vegetables in it, they'd always come into the kitchen and be like, what smells so good? I'm like, guys, I literally just have vegetables on the stove. I need to eat something with a little bit more nutrients. There's the onions. Those are all cut. So I'm going to put those on the stove just to let them get a little bit transparent and then afterwards we're gonna add the peppers i think we should cook the onions cook the peppers and then add the meat in with the salsa yeah good idea oh my god my eyes are hurting oh. so this is the cheese it's very cheese like yeah i've never tried that one before i really don't know how that's gonna go so this um, is a block of cheese you would usually grate it just cut it into like strips you want to try it yeah i'm nervous i know I really like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How yeah, many like some cheese? This is, I feel this like this would like be perfect. better melted in it though. We could even melt it in with the meat. That's what a lot of people do when they're actually cooking it. Because it would be weird like raw on top, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. I agree. What else? Um, so I thought we could talk about um, funny like date stories. Okay. If you want to. Yeah. Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Funny date. Well... I had a date once where it was on TV and I got drunk. <laughs> Everybody saw the entire world. My favorite part of that was when you were chasing Harry around when he was like tied to a chair. Yeah, that was a different date. You added that like music. That was so funny. So this one time, this is probably my most memorable date. And I ended up seeing someone else afterwards. I think I know about this maybe. I think I might have told you. Yeah. So I was uh, at my friend's house. Half or full? Um, half. I was at my friend's uh, house in, it was Fort Lauderdale. And she didn't want to go out, but I did. And she went to visit her one time and she was like really into going out and having fun. And then this time she was just like, I don't want to leave the house. And I was like, I'm here for two weeks and like, I, I need to go out and do something. But I didn't yeah. know about anyone in Fort Lauderdale. I was 19. 
Might have been funny. And so... You weren't even of age yet. No. Well... No, I wasn't. <laughs> well, um, well, my fake ID says otherwise. I don't think I even had to use it. She invited some guys over. It's weird to even say that now because of the pandemic. Like anytime I'm like, oh, we invited people over. And then I'm like, oh, wait, it was acceptable because it was like before March of 2020. And one of the guys was just a total douchebag. And the, that was the one who was What a shocker. A guy, no, a guy being a douchebag never unheard of never how is that possible I'm they're shocked. so empathetic so i was like screw this i'd been matching people on tinder because tinder was like the big thing at the time and then this guy showed up he came in this i think it was a ferrari and so i was like oh like this is cool and so i went and then he tells me on our way to the bar that he's not going to be able to drive me home tonight because he doesn't have enough gas in his car he had a, I could see the tank. It was a full tank of gas. He just wanted me to go back to his house. Oh my God. I just stabbed myself. Oh, did you actually? We're fine. Oh no. no. We're good. We're good. There's no blood. Who made the guac like this? So he's like, I don't have enough gas in my Ferrari to drive you home. Yeah, Classic. So, so I get to the bar and I'm like, oh God, oh God. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just going to have my drink and then probably go home. So I'm sitting at the bar and then this other guy comes over and he's really, really nice. He bought me a rose and I was like, oh, that's so nice. Like, bought me a rose. Um, so anyways, I ended up ditching the guy who didn't have any gas in his tank because he wasn't that nice either. Um, and this guy, I go back to hang out with him at his hotel. And then he asks me. Wait, what, this guy you just met. Oh, this guy I just met. I was dumb. You know, no, like, I'm I don't, not, no, I'm not judging. I've done worse. <laughs> uh, you know, like when you look back. And then you're like, wow, how am like, I alive? Yeah. Yeah. The reason I'm alive is literally just out of chance. He's like, what's your favorite band? And I'm like, Zach Brown band. Cause at the time it was, and he says, oh, I do their lighting. And then he also did like Beyonce's lighting and the weekend's lighting. The lighting for what? Um, just like lighting for their shows. Okay. You know, and the company that did it. Okay. And so, uh, Bola. Then, yeah. And he, I get there and he literally has the Zach Brown band t-shirt at his hotel. And that just happened to be the band that I thought of. And I was like, Oh my god, this is meant fate. to be. And then he was gonna come and be my working. my punani's wet. Oh god, it's gonna dry right up. And then, <laughs> and then uh, he also said that he's gonna be working in Ottawa because he is gonna be working for like our hockey team. So I was so excited because I thought that I'd met this really great guy. And then he ended up coming to Ottawa, and my cousin's like, Sam, like you need to look this guy up online because you don't know anything about him. Yeah. And so I did. And after I'd been seeing him for like a month or two, it turns out he was married for 10 years and it was all over his social media and he just didn't think that I was going to find it. And so then I threw a party with a bunch of my girlfriends. I was petty, 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 petty. And then um, I got everybody who didn't have a 613 area code or Ottawa area code to text his phone number saying, stop cheating on your wife. So he didn't know what city it was from because he was always traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I like that story. Thanks. And then I messaged the wife too. And she, uh, she messaged me back about a year later. Cause she didn't see the message. And she was like, she messaged the wife. That was the most scary moment. Like I got this message on my phone a year later from this person. I knew who it was, even though she had a different last name now. Like, so they got a divorce. They got a divorce because he had, she found pictures of a different girl from Ottawa all over his computer, their family computer. Why not just be straight up? Like, yeah, I'm married, but I want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't cheat. Obviously, don't cheat. But if you're going to go out and cheat, be honest with the person so you, you can at least not. I know men that have cheat on, cheated on their wives and they're just so stupid about it. Like, mm -hmm. they don't even try. It's like they're trying to get caught. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is about, like, the, the rush of doing it that they love so much. But karma's Yeah, it is. And I think he's engaged to this the girl he uh, was cheating on the wife with, though, now. So I enjoy, mean, enjoy if until they... he starts cheating on you too. If you're the person, <laughs> if, yeah. so say me and you are dating mm -hmm. and I start cheating on you with someone, say the salsa, and then salsa tells you, you break up with me and then me and the salsa get married. I'm still going to cheat on the salsa with the vegan meat. He did that with her. So mm -hmm. why did you think that he wasn't going to do it with you? Mm -hmm. It just makes sense. Like you're not going to be the person that changes the person. It's rare that this happens, that you're the actually the person that changes them, but it's not going to happen. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like there is a rare circumstance where if you're like in a relationship and then you meet your soulmate and you're like, oh my God, like if you weren't happy and then you leave the person and then you're happy, just, you just got to tell the person that you don't want to be with them anymore. Cause the heartbreak of cheating is so, it's awful. And I've been through it many times and I'm not going to lie. I have cheated before. Mm -hmm. and the person found out and it was the worst experience ever and it just 
just don't do it there's no point mm -hmm. why if you don't want to be with that person, just break up with them. It gets funnier. So I went out to a bar like randomly a couple nights later and then he happened to be there. And I was there with my five guy roommates and they were, they're all like six foot two and taller. Ooh. And so I went up and then he comes over to me and he tries to tell me like, oh, like I'm not married. Like, and then he, he says, ask my He's friend. He's not married. I know. He says, ask my friend. And his friend takes a sip of his beer and looks the other direction. <laughs> When guys are like, my ex did this, and he was like, he's like, yeah, I never cheated. Like, ask my friends. Like, what do you no. mean, ask your friends? No. When someone says, ask my friends, that's when you know that they're lying. Because yeah. obviously your friends are going to vouch for you. Yeah. Obviously your friends are going to vouch for you. Yeah. Ask my friends. Well, like, this friend didn't vouch for him. What? Like, uh -uh. I mean, maybe in person, if it's like sprung on them and they're a bad liar. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if someone was like, are you cheating? Like, and someone was like, vouch for me, I'd be like, I don't think I'd be able to contain myself unless I was prepared. But like, you never ask the friends for, but that's, that's when you know he's a cheater when he says, ask my friends because any friend's going to vouch for you. Yeah. And then, so that happened. And then, um, right afterwards, my friends, my roommates were like, oh my God, he's here. Like, let's go, let's go find him. Like not to do anything stupid. They just wanted to see what he looked like. And so we go back up to the bar where that guy was. And then he made eye contact with me, made eye contact with all of my roommates and left the bar. <laughs> what bar was this? Heart and Crown. How old is like he? Separate. He was like in his early thirties at the time. Oh, yeah. I thought he was to be older than that. Mid thirties. Early thirties. Early thirties. Every guy's a child until they're like fifty-five. So. What's that? A Leo car. So we've been snacking on this tarp. Look how yummy that looks. Mm. <laughs> Chill the side where the bites. Oh, oh, baby, so good! Oh my god, it's really yummy. Mm -mm. This company <laughs> sent me like a bunch, and I have so many. So, mm -hmm. what's that? A vegan car? Mm -hmm. Where's uh, it from? Taste that cocoa. I'm gonna have to write it out. <laughs> so good, so good, uh, so so good. Put it, oh, we're adding garlic? Okay. Yum. Garlic. And then we're going to add this meat into it, this um, veggie, ground. veggie ground. This is how we do it with one hand. We're gonna add some seasonings that we have around the house. Yeah, when I'm at the car, there's oh, not a whole lot of options. I think we might add the steak spice into it. And then I also have a pineapple and papaya hot sauce. So we're gonna shoot in the dark a little bit, but so good. it does smell amazing. So that tastes good. really, really good. <laughs> Imagine if this is one of those like super spicy habanero things where like we're literally gonna die. I like spice. This meat sucks up all the juices, so I usually just add like a little bit of water. Just to like, and it's gonna help when we put the Not cheese in. Not Not yeah, see, it just like makes it like a little bit more moist. Mm. And here we go. This is gonna be so good once it melts. FYI, everyone, we're following Francesca's direction on the cooking, and it looks delicious and tastes delicious. I don't so. have recipes, I kind of just go for whatever. Mm -hmm. But vegan tacos are so easy to make. It's mm -hmm. literally like you would make regular tacos, but with vegan meat and vegan cheese. So mm -hmm. it's so good. They're all cooked. And let's build. If you wanna see Francesca and the pictures that we took today, check out her website FrancescaExclusive.com, guys. This looks so bomb. Look at the steam coming off. That's my favorite part. When I the ring light didn't work today, I it worked, but I forgot the block for it. So when it's on and all of this is and here this and the guac, the dogs are all sitting right around us. They're like, yeah, give me some of that. Mm -hmm. And the tomato sauce. Salsa. Salsa. Salsa's <laughs> vegan, just and so everybody salsa. knows. Every time I squeeze a lime, I smell margaritas. Wouldn't that be nice, margarita? Yeah, if we have margs right now. Mm -hmm. Do you have a special technique to fold? Yeah, that was there. something nice. When I was dating a guy who was a bit older, he uh, knew how to cook. He showed me a lot of things in the kitchen. I actually never cooked in that relationship. I think I made sushi bowls and that was it. He did all the cooking. My ex was really good, not Harry, my ex before him. Yeah. Was really good at cooking. We lived together for a bit. Oh, right. 
and I made him go vegan. I didn't make him go vegan. He literally went vegan. It was the best. I'm like, you're still? literally perfect. I'm not sure I haven't spoken to him. Mm. But every guy I've dated since and the guy I'm dating now, not vegan. So we can cook, but mm -hmm. yeah. How bomb does this look? Basically, you put all of your fixings on the forward half of your tortilla. So like there's this little empty space. Uh, empty space you use to fold up the bottom and then you wrap the rest of it so then it doesn't fall out of the bottom my little brother worked at mcdonald's for a while one day we asked him to make sandwiches or something or he was supposed to fold a tortilla and he folded it so perfectly and we're like you've been hiding this skill from us the whole time <laughs> this is so good yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think it's time for your date story. I don't really have one. Mm. Let me think. Okay. I went on a first date with someone. And it's not crazy. It was kind of just like, I don't know if this even counts. Mm. I went on a first date. And he offered to take me to Whistler, which is a ski resort in Vancouver. Outside of Vancouver. And I didn't have any ski stuff. I had nothing. Not one thing. So, like, literally our first day, he's like, let's go to the ski store. So, we go to the ski store. We buy probably like seven, ten thousand dollars worth of equipment. I take it home. He takes me and my girlfriend to Whistler because I didn't want to go alone with him. And we go to Whistler, we go skiing, we have a great time. I don't even hook up with him, don't even kiss him, not one thing. I just got all this free free ski equipment, like skis, boots, everything. And then a few days later I went to Bahamas with one of my girlfriends. And we were trying to figure out, we it ended up extending our trip. And we were talking about, I was telling him, like, oh, we weren't sure how we were going to fly home yet, whatever. He literally sends me his plane. Without him in it, he just sends me the plane. He had a plane. To fly me and my friend home. So literally, I have never hooked up with this person. Nothing. And I got a, I got $10,000 ski equipment and a free private plane ride home from Bahamas. Wow. And I haven't spoken to him since. He was really nice I, when I met him. Yeah. He seemed when did like you a meet him? We were at the bar one night, and then he, like, drove us in our car to D6. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for, for Blank's birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? Yeah, that's when we met him. We met him, we met him at our friend's birthday party. One of my friends from Vancouver who I'm not friends with anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. That is when you met him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll take some skis in a private jet ride. <sighs> Why not? For free. Didn't even have to do anything for it. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And thank you, Francesca, for joining us and making some delicious vegan tacos. Of course. But vegan tacos are my favorite thing ever. Mm -hmm. You guys should try this recipe. It's literally so easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, How many ingredients? Probably like six. Yeah, like seven. Peppers, onions, veggie ground. Guac. Guac. Lime. Salsa. Lime, salsa, vegan cheese. Tortillas. So with everything minus the spices, not including the spices, it was like seven ingredients. Um, and in one pan. And don't forget to subscribe to some Francesca's channel. I'm either gonna put a link or put it uh in the description. I know her channel. And my channel. Uh and I put out videos every Sunday, so definitely come back. We'll uh, make something new next week. Thanks guys. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> That's it. Easy peasy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>